So it's May the 4th, we're going to talk about um, some new um, equipment that Pioneer has sent out, these new applicators. Basically they've changed the bottle system around, there used to be two bottles that fit on here. Um, they've come out and they retrofitted it now with a tank system and then um, these bottles are more compact now as well too. So it's, it's a, an aid in probably saving for sh shipping costs and everything else as well too. And now these applicators can put on about 500 ton with this amount of water. So basically what this is, this is um, Pioneer 1174 and it, this goes in that bottle. You shake it up with water and you put it in there. This will treat about 250 ton. That's the 1174. The 1132 has got Buckner Rye in it. This one again will treat 250 ton. And it'll basically, when you put it on your silage as it goes up, it'll basically cure it up much faster. So it'll ferment the sugars out faster. And then it, on the bunk life side of it as well too, when you feed it out, because a lot of people's grassage they're going to have to feed it pretty fast and so it's really important to try and get it cured down and cold as fast as you can and this is what the Buckner Eye will help you with as well. So this one runs runs about $1.80 to $1.90 per ton to treat. This one, the 1174, basically runs at about $1.20 to $1.30 per ton to treat. So this one's just a basic inoculant. This one's got the Buchner in there, which will give you extended bunk life as well too. So um, it also comes in a 50 ton size as well. So um, depending how much solid you have to fill or how much you have left to fill, you can use the smaller balls as well. It comes in a granular as well too. This is the 11, 1174 granular and a bag like this will treat 50 ton as well. So this you'd basically take a coffee can and sprinkle it over the, the grass silage as it comes in and um, you'll mix up and get on the tractor tires that's pushing it up and you'll inoculate the whole grass silage. So, so these are really important with the weather coming up. So today is Thursday, it's quite warm out, 25 degrees. Um, it's supposed to rain a bit tonight and tomorrow on Friday, then Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday look really good. So a lot of guys are planning to cut either this Saturday or this upcoming Monday. So I walk through a lot of the fields, the orchard grasses, the heads are just coming out now. So it's prime time to cut. That's your maximum volume and your maximum amount of tonnage. If you let it go farther than that on the orchard grasses, once the head starts coming out, the plant starts getting a lot more rigid and fibrous because it wants to hold on to that head basically to keep it from falling over. And the main goal is to get the pollinate. So it becomes very fibrous or a lot more um, like a rebar material that ends up coming up in the grass. So the fiber levels can go in a week's time from 32 all the way to 36% ADF, which is what we don't want. So take a look at your grass, see where it's at, see how dry the fields are. But the weather break coming up may be really good. If you can get it off, even get your cover crops off and some of your first cutting off, then at least you can start spreading manure on these fields, get them worked up and get ready for corn. Because every day now that we tick along, we're basic on the um, 4th of May. Uh, every day that we get past, let's say the 15th or 20th of May, it affects how the corn ripens up. So the earlier we can get it planted, providing the conditions are good and the ground is dry, um, you're going to gain in the fall time again too. So, so if we just sit and say, well, I want one more week's growth of my grass and my cover crops, that could be a very, very expensive week because if it starts raining the following week, now it could be two weeks before you cut. The grass will be all headed out. The neighbor next door in the meantime has got his fields manured and plowed up and set for corn. The next sunny break, you'll be cutting your grass and he'll be planting his corn. So timing is 80% of the solution with most of this stuff. So take a look at the weather forecast, see how you're set up to go, get a hold of your custom guy and see if you can't squeeze in a couple days or round bale some. Um, but everybody out here wants to try and get going. The manure pits are full as well. So the sooner we get the grass sides off and the cover crops off, the sooner we can go ahead and start applying the manure. We can apply the manure once the cover crop is cutting off in rainy weather, that'll still work out pretty good, but you can't harvest grass in rainy weather. So yeah, take a look at the upcoming weather forecast and see where we're at.